when there's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Doctor Strange! Yeah! Hey guys, and welcome to my world. So yes, you know it, I saw Doctor Strange yesterday, day of release, like I do with every Marvel film, specifically the MCU ones. <sighs> and I just, guys, I gotta talk about it, I've gotta talk about it. So yeah, I went to the cinema yesterday with my two best friends, Harry, Adam, You've met them before, you know them, you love them, you see them in my birthday vlog video, I'll link that here or in the description below, go check so that yes, out. yes guys, I was at the cinema yesterday, I got myself a kids mix, because I'm a big kid, I was in my Avengers top, I was in my Star Lord jacket, it was pretty strange. <laughs> my jokes are terrible, but yes, <laughs> Doctor Strange. Was it good? Yes. Yes it was. It was really, really good. But is it up there with my favourite MCU movies like Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers, Captain America Civil War, Captain America The Winter Soldier? No. No it's not. It's definitely a great movie, but it's somewhere in the middle for me. So yeah, let's talk So guys, about it. firstly, off the bat, no Glenn. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a solid movie. It is a pretty good origin story and it's a very, very big step and a very, very good step in the right direction for the MCU. Um, they add another aspect to this vast universe we have. I mean, just, just, just think about it, okay? Marvel take a lot of gambles. Let's, let's think, let's think about that, okay? So the first movie we got, Iron Man, set in our world. It's a pretty, pretty solid movie. It's down to earth, it's grounded in our reality as much as it can be, considering he's flying around in a robotic suit. <laughs> but then we have Thor introduced, gods, the whole Asgard aspect. It worked. We get Guardians and the Cosmic Universe introduced. It worked. We get Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Silly, funny character introduced into this vast universe. It worked. It was so good. It was so funny. Just, now we get magic. Magic. And the whole mystic element. And it works. Oh my god. It was another huge payoff for Marvel. It really was. Yeah, let that sink in for a moment. We've had stuff introduced into this reality we have, this cinematic universe we have that, when you think about it, shouldn't always work, but it does. And now we have magic, and the way it's explained, it just fits in, it works, you don't question it, it makes sense. <sighs> in Marvel, we trust. <laughs> We do. <laughs> Kevin, you are our lord and saviour. <laughs> so guys, let's talk about the movie now. Firstly, I want to mention the positives. Now the positives is just, let, let's start with how this film looks. This film looks phenomenal. It is visually stunning. The effects were great. They were utilised well. I mean, just seeing the countless, the various dimensions that we get to see. It was just, it was so good. And then you just see sort of reality bending in on itself. It was twisting, it was turning, it was cracking. It, oh, it was so Inception-like and it just, it was so, so cool. It was, it was visually And stunning. then the action. The action was beautiful to watch. It was very Matrix-esque. Um, <laughs> you don't know how many times I've tried saying that. <laughs> this is like take four. <laughs> it was very, it was in the style of Matrix, um, which was 
a bonus and just cool to see just them running up walls going onto the ceiling just jumping through the air it was <sighs> the action was <laughs> it was handled very very well <laughs> um but to be honest with you guys i'm not going to lie to you the first time you see the reality shift and the action where they're running and they're turning and they start running up walls i'm not going to lie to you <laughs> it took it took me a moment to adjust to it. I was sat there already with my kids mix. I was sat there and I was watching and then it happened and I was just like, right, okay, let me adjust. Right, I'm ready. <laughs> I did, I had to readjust. I had to get comfy because I was sat there like, wow, okay, let's do this. <laughs> it was just... It wasn't just a mind fuck, it was kind of an eye fuck at first at all, uh, first as well. And I was, I was just like, whoa. <laughs> it was so bright, the colours of the different dimensions. It was like, did you ever have that thing as a kid where you'd look through it and you could twist it and turn it? I can't remember what they're called. And then you just get all these shapes bending in on each other and it was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Harry, I swear, I haven't smoked any doobies before this video. <laughs> Other positives for this movie are the casting. Casting is something Marvel do brilliantly. And Benedict Cumberbatch as Stephen Strange was beautiful. It really was. He was arrogant. He was egotistical. It's something you should expect from Sherlock. <laughs> and oh my god, I hated him. I absolutely hated him. In the beginning, I'm sat there looking at him just like, I really do not like your character. You are a douche. <laughs> Which is good. It's good. But I did turn to Harry and I was just like, I cannot wait to see a conversation between him and Iron Man. I really can't. <laughs> yes, and then obviously you get his personal growth, his arc throughout the movie, and it is just a great. It was a great transition seeing him from go to there, to there, A to B, from strange to stranger. <laughs> it was really, really cool, and yeah, just the cast in Marvel get that down to a T, and the acting in this film was phenomenal. Benedict Cumberbatch, freaking Chiwetel Ejio for another name hard to pronounce. And then Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One. You got Mads Mikkelsen. We'll get on to that. <laughs> but yes, the acting throughout this was solid. So yeah, as I was saying, you've got a lot of characters other than Strange. My favourite being... Can you guess? Can you guess? That's right, it is the egghead herself, Tilda Swinton's The Ancient One. Now, I have not read a lot on Strange, if anything. I haven't seen the animated movie uh, all the way through. The most I know about Strange was probably from the Lego games, where you've got to fight like Nightmare, stuff like that. So my my Doctor Strange knowledge is not up there with other Marvel stuff. Um, but uh, I do know the Ancient One is meant to be this Asian old man. And there's a lot of people getting salty that Tilda Swinton is playing this character. And all I'm going to say on that is shut up. <laughs> she brought so much to this character. She was my favourite character overall. She was clever. She was mysterious. She was a total bad ass. Seeing her fight go up against Mads Mikkelsen and the other bad guys in this movie. She was so cool. She was humorous. She brought humour to the film as well, which I did not expect. She was a brilliant, brilliant character. I loved her as the Ancient One. Guys, I really did love her as the Ancient One. I know she is campaigning for a spin-off movie about her character right now. And please, send the petition my way, because I will sign that shit right now. I am so jacked to see a spin-off film of her. <laughs> she, 
She was brilliant. She was. I'd really like. I would really like that. I, I want to see her egghead again. <laughs> so guys, talking of funny and humour and jokes. I'm going to expect one more. Okay then. <laughs> so talking of funny humour. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Whoa, I'm popular today! Woohoo! <laughs> so guys, talking of Tilda Swinton being... <laughs> <laughs> so guys, talking of Tilda, so talking of Tilda Swinton's character of the Ancient One being funny, this movie is hilarious. It really is. It had me laughing throughout, and just like Civil War, Civil War was funny. It had its humorous moments, but it still kept that serious, gritty undertone, and that is something Doctor Strange did as well. No matter how much it was making you laugh, it still had that dark gritty uh, darkness, more serious tone just looming over the movie. It really did. Um, and that's something cool because Marvel do it really, really well. They blend the two together. They blend the humour and the dark grittiness together so well. And it comes together and say what you want. Say Marvel are more light-hearted than DC and DC is darker, but I do not care what you're saying because Marvel, Marvel do get dark and they do get gritty. I mean, the opening of this film with Mads Mikkelsen was So another dark. positive I am going to mention uh, before I get into the negatives of this movie. Um, and like I said earlier, I don't know a lot of strange, a lot about strange, but I know the more um, popular stuff, if you will. Um, and there's something in this movie that I didn't expect seeing specifically in the first outing of Strange. But to be honest, I was glad it popped up. Uh, because not only was it a cool surprise, but it was a totally funny scene. And to be honest, I'm so happy that it was in the movie. Now guys, now my positives are said and done. Let's get in. To my negative. Now guys, say what you will about Marvel's villains. Say they're weak, but it's not always true. Let's look at the bigger picture. Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, fantastic. Cottonmouth in Luke Cage was fantastic. The movie universe, let's think about it. Loki is great. Say what you will about Ultron, but he was good. Zemo was good. Let's think about other villains that we have. We have Thanos looming over us. I'm hoping he is going to be great. Ronan was okay, but let's 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 get down to my point, guys. Mads Mikkelsen in Doctor Strange was a weak villain. He really was, and I'm sad to say that. Um, he was really weak for my liking, and he just he didn't really do much. Uh, and um, when he was around, because he, he wasn't really on screen that much for a villain. And when he was around, all he was doing was running. Running. They might as well have called... I can't even remember the character's name. Cassilius or C Calcius or Cal. They might as well have called him Forrest Gump, for all I care. <laughs> so yeah, from the get-go, they set him up really really well they give him a dark opening scene and that was pretty dark it was cool and they set him up like i'm going to explain this in terms of cereal they set him up like a nice bowl of cocoa pops in the morning even if you put them in the microwave and make them a little warm it's nice it gives you that warm comfort feeling but then as the movie went on he just turned to stale bran flakes no one wants those <laughs> Guys, what I am trying to say is that no matter what you think of Marvel's villains, Loki was great, Ronan, they, Ultron, Zemo, they all had a presence throughout their film. They all had something to do with the darkness that was being brought to the film. Mads Mikkelsen, he really didn't do that. He, he didn't have that presence looming over the movie. And like I said, when he was on screen, all it felt like he was doing was running. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just hoping 
his character is a lot better in Rogue One. So other than Mads Mikkelsen's character, the villain, Forrest Gump, <laughs> uh, being my major negative, I can't really think of any others other than a few nitpicks. Like, the beginning of the movie was a little quick, but then it is an origin story and they're trying to set up this brand new character in a larger cinematic universe. The only other one I can really think of for me personally was just the overall story. It didn't feel like it did much. It felt like it didn't really go anywhere by the end of the movie, that is, and that there wasn't really any consequences. Um, other than that, Doctor Strange is a solid movie. It is a solid Marvel movie um, in this cinematic universe, and it's, it's a great origin story as well. No matter how quick the beginning was, it really did a good job at bringing us the magic element, the more mystic side, the different realities, these brand new characters that have been confirmed like Doctor Strange, Wong. We're going to get them throughout other Marvel movies and I am so excited to see them in this cinematic universe. I really Also am. guys, and I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to, for all you amateurs and you posers out there, because there was a lot in my showing of the film. There was. Freaking, the film stopped rolling. The end came. And so many people got up and left the cinema. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Guys, stay till the end of the credits. Stay till the credits stop rolling. There is a mid credit scene. There is an end credit scene. Both are cool, by the way. You might have a character you know of pop up. Yeah. Stay. <laughs> yes, that's right, Marvel. I am with you till the end of the credits. Or the end of the line. That's damn straight. <laughs> so guys, have you seen Doctor Strange? And what did you think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on it. Your opinions. Keep the spoilers mild if you're going to mention plot points. Stuff like that. Things that have an impact later on in the universe. Like the Eye of Agamotto. Yes. Um, I think most people should know what it's going to be. But I'm not going to say it. Just in case. Guys, hit me up down in the comments section. And let's get talking Marvel. <sighs> Oh, guys, I'm so excited for Guardians next year, uh, Thor Ragnarok next year, Spider-Man Homecoming next year, freaking Iron Fist next year, Marvel, you can not come soon enough. <laughs> guys, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See you later! Guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date with content from me, then click subscribe here. I've linked a few other videos here for your entertainment. If you want to check those out, just click on the image shown. If not, look over my channel. I'm sure there's some other content you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, take care.